It was about two years into the second Bush administration. I was just entering my teenage years, and I was invited to my first slumber party. It was at Miranda's house. She was my best friend and I was named Vice President of Fun. And I was in charge for the night's festivities. Of course, I was going to go with musical chairs. Heads up, seven up, and I planned on putting someone's hand in a bowl of warm water. But I wanted it to be special. I wanted to go next level. I planned a secret trip to the cemetery next to my grandmother's house. It was in within walking distance and I thought telling let's not meet stories in that atmosphere would be pretty creepy. The girl showed up around 7.30 just as the sun began to fall from the sky above. I started the night off with karaoke and bitches went nuts. Tina was like, I can rap Nicki Minaj verses. I didn't know why she stated that with such pride. It's not like she wrote the shit. But she was having fun, so I put on Anaconda and let her go first. My girl Katrina had me put on Celine Dion's It's All Coming Back to Me. And she absolutely killed that shit. Even Miranda's mom came from the other room and said it was fire. And she's an all hating ass bitch, usually. The party was an absolute hit. Beth told me she wanted me to be the president of Gangster for her upcoming sock hop. And Carly J said she wanted me to plan her brother's bar mitts for this summer. I told the girls I had one more surprise in store and told everyone to get their coats. Everybody was really curious. We were going and I was all like, hey y'all, chill, chill, we'll be there soon. And they were like, come on, tell us. And I was like, no, it'll ruin the surprise. We approached the entrance and I told the girls I have unlimited data and Let's Read put out some new stories today. Who's ready to shit their pants? All the girls started cheering and twerking. These bitches was loving this shit. I looked over at Miranda with a side eye, and she gave me a thumbs up and a wink. We started playing the new Let's Read stories, and I must say, even I started to get a little scared, and I wanted to leave a little early. That's when my fears worsened. I heard a squeaking noise coming from behind a tombstone. It sounded like Spongebob when he had those squeaky shoes on and he was being all obnoxious and shit. Or a clown rapidly honking his horn nose. We all heard it. We looked at each other and since there was eight, we decided to investigate. Four of us stayed put, and the rest of us snuck off, and we made our way around the cemetery until we were right behind the perpetrator. He was an elderly man, probably in his late 50s or early 60s. He had on a white t-shirt and a pair of beige dockers, and I don't know why, but hiking boots. This was already creepy enough, but he was also jerking off. We snuck up behind him and pulled out our cameras and started filming. We told him if he didn't amscray, we would turn this into the police. He said he was just exercising and it was just a misunderstanding. Disgusted by his horrid lie, I told him I was about to exercise my right to kick his pasty ass. He scurried off into the darkness with his pants still around his ankles. And we all made our way back to Miranda's house. 
we didn't tell her mother, she would have just bitched all night and ruined the whole party. But we all laugh about it still. So creepy old man, let's not meet. But if we do, you better get ready cause I'm gonna whoop your ass.